here, this one, okay, the past perfect progressive. So that is past perfect, right? So we need had, and it's perfect, so we need been, and it's progressive, so we need verb plus ing. ing. So it's three parts, okay? So this one, for example, she had been studying English. She had been studying English. You can pause it, you can stop it there, or you can continue, okay? By the, by, she had been studying English by, mm, well, by the time she moved to LA, okay? What is this? What does this mean? Why am I using the progressive? Because it's a continuing. Continue. Yes, it just shows that it, So it, now it's not this first and this second. It's this first, but continue, continue, continue until this one, right? That's what it means. It just means that this one continued until that one. But we don't use this with non-action. Right? This is only for action verbs, okay? Let me give you another example. been talking by the time the class started so right this one was continuing until that started that's it right so if you say they had been talking it just means it continued but if you say they had talked that just focuses on the action finishing before that one so they're both correct, the meaning changes a little bit. But there's a special, special case for this one, okay? Remember last week I said, why are your eyes red? <coughs> oh, were you crying, right? We can use the past progressive, remember, were you crying? But a better one is this one, okay? So if someone comes into the room sweating and breathing hard like that, you can say, wow, have you, Running. you can say, I, but yeah, what have you been doing? And then they say, I'd been, I'd been running, I'd been running, but I'm not now, okay? Before I came into this room, before I entered, I had been running, so. <coughs> I'd been running. And you know that this happened before they came in. They're not running now, so this one finished, okay? Yeah, let me, let me write an example. He had been living in Venezuela when he won a competition. So this is an example from your book. He had been living in Venezuela Two things happened in the past, right? He had been living in Venezuela when he won the competition. Yeah, but he didn't move from Venezuela just because he won. He continued to live there after that. So, yeah, you could, yeah. The thing is, we're using the past perfect or the past perfect progressive to emphasize that something happened or was happening before something else. That's the main reason. Because sometimes you have two things in the past and you need to make sure which one happened first and which one happened second. That's it. But these words make that really clear, which is why we don't use it very often, okay? So let's look at examples of these ones. So let's, let's first understand that these, remember those time words I told you about? The time words, after time word, after those time words, you can use, okay, 
a time. You could use a time, okay? And not all of them, some of them, like after lunch, right? Before dinner. Um, as soon as lunch? No, we can't say that, okay? By the time lunch? No, we can't say that. But you could say, you could say by lunch, okay? So some of them you can use with the time, but all of them you can use with a clause, okay? A clause. Remember what a clause is? Yeah. Yeah. That's subject plus verb, okay? Subject plus verb, and it's not going to be a complete clause because this is a time word, okay? So let's, let's look at the example with after, okay? Let's use a sentence with after. Let's try, to, let's try to use the same exact sentence, but let's use after. And always be used simple past after be? Yes, and this, is, this verb's always going to be the simple past. Good, thank you. Yes. Okay. So let's use this sentence with after. He had been living in Venezuela when he won a competition. After he won. After he won, he won, he won a competition. A wait, wait, but what, what happened first? Oh. Oh. Had been living. Oh. See, this is no, why it's confusing. No, no, no. First, after. he had been living there, and then he won, right? right. So after he had, had been living in Venezuela, he won a competition. So in this sentence, we have after. And then we have the clause, subject, right? And then we have the verb. But is the verb, is it in the simple past? No. So it's not always going to be in simple past. You have to know sometimes it's simple past, sometimes it's perver you know past perfect, sometimes it's past perfect progressive. It depends on what you're focusing on. But you can also say, you can just say, after he, right? After he lived in Venezuela, he won a competition, but that changes the meaning a little bit, right? Can you explain again this one? This one? This part. Which part? This, that you can, you, you can use this, explains Something was happening until something else, right? Mm -hmm. So this happened before that. But after means, it's clear what it means. It means after, after. right? Yeah. So you can just use the simple past if you want, but it might change the meaning of the sentence, so you have to be careful. After he lived in Venezuela, that means he Ooh. lived there, and then he moved, and then he won, okay? So it doesn't have the same meaning every time you change the verb form. That's why sometimes we do need to just use the past perfect or the past perfect progressive. Okay? So let's look at after again. Okay? Um, let me get another example from your book. Um, actions in the past, right? He had moved. He met new friends, right? So according to this sentence, which one happened first? After he had moved to LA, he met new friends. He had moved first. So first he moved, right? And then he yeah. met new friends. So after he had done this, he did this, right? So we can use the past perfect, or we can just use the simple past. This has the exact same meaning. Nothing really changes, right? Mm -hmm. It's clear, right? Yeah, so it's clear that this one was first. So in this situation, we would just use simple past. 
But if you want, you can make it more clear and you can use past perfect, okay? So let's look at another, let's look at the word before. So try it with before. Same thing, before. Is before. Before he what? He met he 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 new friends. New friends. So again, two actions. He met, he had moved. Which one happened first? Yeah. 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 First he had moved, right? Then he met. But it's a different word, right? But you understand what that means before. Before he did this, he did that. So could I also say this? Could I say that? Before he met new friends, he moved to LA? Yes. And it's still really clear what that this happened first, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it with as soon as. As soon as. Oh, he met. Okay, so which one happened first? This one, right? No, no, as soon as. As soon as, as soon as introduces the first action. As soon as introduces, even though it comes close, it does come close to, right? And then this is the second action. So this is the first one. So we can make that more clear. How can I make that more clear that this one happened first? How he can I? Moved. You can say, he had, had moved. moved. He had moved. Um, as soon as he had moved, he met new friends. What does that mean, meaning as, as soon as? As soon as means when, mm -hmm. when, or uh, after. Yeah, it could mean after. Um, let's try. Let's try by the time with the same one. By the time he moved. He moved. He had moved. Okay, now actually this one we have to change because by the time shows the second thing. So by the time he met. By the time he met new friends, he had, good, he had moved to L.A. <laughs> By the time he met new friends, he had moved to L.A. So first he moved, then he met. He had moved by the time he made new friends. So by the time introduces the second event, okay? Now when is a little bit more confusing. Can I ask a question? Yes. When is confusing? Like, um, if you told us as soon as he had been moving to LA, he, he had he had been moving. No, because you don't keep moving. Here, let's look at let's look at when. Okay. So we're we're gonna use when with the same. Let's use it with the same sentence. Okay, when he, he had moved. He had moved. Which one happened first? Then he moved. Okay, so if this one happened first, so if this one happened first, couldn't we use has? Yes. You could, okay? But after when we should be used the past, the past, the past. This is for right, right. <laughs> but when when we're talking, of, that's for that's for when there's an interruption, right? That's for when we have something continuing in the past, and then we have an interruption. Then we have to use simple past. 
useful. Like even if you're talking about future, you use when you want to use it. So, and this is a different time period or different thing. Okay. Now let's 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 look at another example with when. Your book has a good one. Um. Here. Concert ended. She left. Which one happened first? Which one happened second? The concert ends. 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 The The concert ends. 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 The when the concert ended and she had left. What if I put the past perfect there? So then which one happened first? She had, she left. had, she had, had left. left. First she left, then it ended, before, uh, right? So you can leave a concert before it ends, right? So what I'm saying is when you add, you can add, you can add the past perfect to any clause, right? Sometimes simple past, sometimes past perfect. But depending on where you put it, it's going to change the meaning and the time frame of what you're saying. Right? Do you see? Add left and left. See how it's different? When, she, when the concert ended, she left. First, the concert ended, then she left. But if you say when the concert ended, she had left. Had left is first. So remember, whenever you see had plus past participle, that's always the first thing. It's always the first thing. Okay? But she left, it's a second. And then here, just left is second. Okay. All right. Then we have time words. We have di we have different words. So, in addition to those time words, we have other time words. So with past perfect, sometimes we use just like with present perfect, we use already. Yes. Remember? Yes. Ever, never, never, right? Just, we use these time words to really focus on which one was first and which one was second, okay? And where do we put these, by the way? If I have this sentence, she, Where would I put already? She already. She had already. Already. She had already. So it goes between the helping verb and the main verb, right? What about yet? She had studied yet? Yes. But the only time we use yet is she when it's negative, right? If you want to use yet in a statement, it has to be negative. But we also use question yet with questions, right? So had she studied. She studied. So we use it for questions and negatives, right? Not affirmative. Okay. How about ever? Ever. She had ever. Yes. Yeah. Negative and questions, right? Sometimes we use it for affirmative too, but but usually with a question. What did you say? What was your question? Yeah. Had you ever? Had she ever studied? So again, here, before the main verb, before the main verb, okay? Most of the time, yeah. It, you, when there's a helping verb and a main verb, it's going to go 
before the main verb. Yeah. Um, and then how about never? She has never heard So, but it still goes in the middle, right? Okay, but it means she had not studied. And then just? She just has. She just, she has just. Again, in the middle, right? What does just mean? It means very close to now, very recent, right? Okay. All right. So those are important words to be aware of when you're using this, okay? All right, the key, the key time words that you need to know, the most common time we use the past perfect is with by. So if you can just remember by, okay, or by the time, then you're, you, you can use the past perfect most commonly with this. At the end. Um, okay. these, these are time words, so they can come at the beginning or in the middle, right? But they always introduce, they always introduce second action, okay? So, by the time the class ended, by the time the class ended, this is the second thing, right? By the time introduces Second thing, the students had what? What do you want to say? <laughs> had tired. Uh, okay, had felt <laughs> tired. Okay, good. So <laughs> this happened first, right? And that happened second. You had felt tired before the class ended, right? You could also use the past perfect progressive. How would I use that? Had been, been, uh, been feeling. Been feeling. feeling. <coughs> they had been feeling tired.